Welcome everybody to the first ever, hopefully annual, Turf and Turnbuckle Fantasy Football. Yeah, let's get this draft going. I am excited. Is everybody else excited? Come I'm on, due. Man. It took a little while, but we got here. I'm Sean, Mac. Yeah, but uh, do you want to... So we're going to go over the rules again real quick. It's a eight-man league. Everybody's here. They're going to put in a total of $75 eventually, and the winner will get the majority of the pot. I forget what the actual mathematical was, but because of a pay-in... The total will actually change if anybody has to pay in because of more than, what did we just say, three picks? Three picks. Yeah. Any, or three, yeah, three pickups in a week, you have to pay $10 or whatever. Yeah, but the second place person will get their money back, so it's it's like breaking even, which like everybody knows here, it's like kissing your sister, it sucks. Nobody wants to break even, we want to fucking win. Uh, losing, we have a little thing going on, but I think Duval... Duvall here wants to talk about the best part about if you win. Well, actually, I'll go with the if you lose first, because if you win, I think it's a little bit better if you lose. So if you lose and you come in last place in this year's draft, you will have to show up with the gang, us, to Old Tom Charlie's and for karaoke night. And the winner of the league chooses the song. That's the punishment for last place. You got you to sing your motherfucking heart out. So if it's I'm every woman... <laughs> it's all in me. Belt your heart out. Now, if you win the league, not only do you get the money, you get the bragging rights, you also get this gem here that you must carry with you for the first month everywhere to represent the league. Absolutely. I mean, you don't have to carry it with you if you don't want to, but, but you got to get I would want to carry this thing around with me forever. The TFL. Oh, yeah. Draft Championship. This is it. This, this is for about two weeks to lunch everywhere you go, showing everybody that you won the league, that you are the man, and you bring this to the draft next year to defend that. We are also gonna take these plates off here and we're gonna do a new Japan style so every year that somebody wins the belt, their name gets stitched onto the belt. So if you win, your name will be on the title and then you gotta defend it next year. I'm letting y'all know now that if I do win this year, I'm doing some Asian warrior shit and I am changing the color of the, of the strap. Alright. <laughs> Look at that. He's already. Boss. <laughs> Belt strap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he caught it. He Belt caught strap. it. So that is the TFL World Heavyweight Champion. We're very proud of this title. Yes. Prestigious. We were kind of nervous that this wasn't going to show up in time, but. I also made the order here. Let him know that we are now presenting. We got a couple uh, late, late arrivals, but we're going to. We're rolling with the punches and everything. We have already done our draft order we used a bingo caller and made sure that we got everybody's number that they picked in there we picked we drew the order has been picked first pick is nick second pick is chris third is duval four is sean five is zach six is yaz seven is nate and eight is bernard and everybody has to make 15 picks we're gonna try and move it along as quickly as possible because everybody's got somewhere to be of course but make sure we catch all the good times and moments. Alright. <laughs> See y'all give it up, man. Give it up for the league, man. Yeah. Round one. Alright, so with the first pick in the draft, coming up to announce their pick, Nick represent Pile on Your Mom. Guys, again, everybody has three minutes. So we're gonna start the clock now. Pile on your mom is on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> First pick in the fantasy draft TFL of 2022 2023, Derrick Henry. All right, with the second pick, the Bills Mafia selects Jonathan Taylor. With the third pick in the draft, the TFL draft. The Groovinator select Austin Eckler, Los Angeles Chargers. How's 
everybody doing? Uh, for the fourth pick, I'm going to keep this running back train rolling, and I'm going to go with Dalvin Cook from the Minnesota Vikings. Wow. Hmm. Blouse this bitch <laughs> with the sixth pick of the motherfucking draft. His pops was a beast, a fucking monster. In NFL blitz, he played for the motherfucking Broncos. Let's hope that me stay healthy. My boy, motherfucking Chris McCaffrey. I do not know football enough to participate. With my first pick, taking Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills. It's a Bernard's boss team. Let's get this thing started. Round two. All right, Mick, you up. Starting from the top oh, again. The top. Yep. yep. In the second round of the TFL draft, I'm going to choose Debo Samuel. Ooh. All right, the second pick in the TFL league. Bills Mafia takes Nick Chubb. I know who you're taking already. Come on. With my second pick in the TFL draft, the Groovinator select, bringing it home to the Berg baby, Najee Harris. Oh, I wanted him. On the second stop, on the Mactastic Voyage, we're picking up Joe Mixon from Cincinnati. For the second pick, the Wet Willie select Jamar Chase. The second pick, the motherfucking Blossoms take Devontae Adams, wide receiver, Raiders. With my second pick of the TFL draft, I'm going with Josh Jacobs of the Las Vegas Raiders. That's my running back, y'all. the TFL draft, I choose Cooper Cup. With the third pick in the TFL league, I'm going with Aaron Jones. <laughs> with the third pick for the Groovinators in the TFL draft, we select Tyree Kill, Miami Dolphins. I'm not mad. I'm Welcome back to the Mactastic Voyage. Everybody's enjoying it. I know they are. Uh, D D Fam C D Lamb. Yes. Yes. Be mad at me. For the third pick, the Wet Willies take, you know, the, the we gotta have the duo. I need you know what I mean? I need Travis Kelsey. Yes, sir. Third pick. Blouses. Stefan Diggs. Bernard, you're going to have to tuck out in when we play, baby. Yeah, but you, oh, you, asshole. you can't get them both. Come on, dog. <laughs> I was inspired at first to try and keep it a duo, but, you know, some people are assholes. Uh, I'm going to go with my backup, man. I feel like he's equally as good. I'm going with Keenan Allen. Los Angeles Chargers, for Bernard's boss team. Fifteen. Fourth round pick, pile on your mom, Justin Herbert. All right, in the fourth round, in the TFL draft, I'm taking Justin Jefferson. All right, with the fourth pick, in the fourth round of the TFL draft, the Groovinator select. Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens. Who are you trying to draft? You can say it. Yeah, I'm trying to take Mike Evans. Mike Evans? Uh, oh, yeah, Mike Evans is on the board. Yeah, he's 
Right here, Mike Evans. Thank you. <laughs> Why is he there, though? You see what I'm saying? Oh, I have no idea. G-J-E. I just said e. I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's the alphabet. I think Mike Evans had to be on there. Well, all right, fine. Fucking spoiler alert. Mike Evans on my <laughs> fourth pick. Shit. You know, for what pick we on here? For the fourth pick, the Wet Willies. You know, I'm a Dallas fan, so I'm, I'm gonna take Ezekiel Elliott. All right. I'm a Dallas fan, so I'm a Bellingham fan. Right. Yeah, I'm talking the uh, the blouses are on the clock. Blouses take Javante Williams, running back, <laughs> Denver. Yo, that's a really good fucking pick. That was my sleeper. Well, the fourth pick, Bernard's boss team selects Mark Andrews, Lamar Jackson's favorite goddamn option. I should have said, I should have said three mics. I should have said fucking three mics. Fifth pick of the TFL draft. Tight end, George Kittle out of San Francisco. All right, with the fifth pick, I'm taking Joe Burrow. With the fifth pick for the Groovinators in the 20, I almost said 2012. Wow, we'd have been on a character. Uh, 20, 2022 TFL draft, we select, and he's coming back this year, Saquon Barkley. Good pick. He plays in the wrong state, but besides that, it's a good pick. Does everybody know what exit you get off to to go to that stadium? Because it's not in New York. <laughs> Only real New York team. Which one? I'm Buffalo. Gonna say, I'm going to say, you better watch your warm mouth in this That's house. you guys. That's you guys. <laughs> What's that? I'm like 0-4 in the Super Bowl. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the only thing they need. They need that one. Leave Brittany alone. That's crazy. On ahead. No, we'll get one. How many did you cheat to win? Oh. However many it's up. Ain't no asterisks on them trophies. Hail Hydro. Is this going to be another one where it's not in the right spot? <laughs> I'm not that high. It's alphabetical order, man. It's not. It definitely is. It even goes to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that the last one wasn't, though. That's not fair. Given the cards aren't necessarily in order, but it's going up and down yeah. in alphabetical order. Not left to right. Yeah, up and down. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, not left. Yeah, 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 it's not going down, left to right. Yeah. Dyslexic yeah. motherfucker. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was going left to right. Shot up the Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> All well, clearly, my Mactastic voyage has been greater than everybody else's, because I can't find or figure out who none of these names are. But we're gonna take That's Lenny. Say, we're taking Lenny off the board. Why are you mad? Lenny Fournette. Dude's like twenty pounds overweight right now. Oh. He probably won't even run that. I don't judge people like that. Right? Right? I like me a thick running back. Yeah, man. Thick back. Yeah, they gotta stop. They gotta stop saying that word. They need to ban that shit. Tight end. Look how thick he is. Oh. They have been very comfortable saying that. He was talking about his legs. Look at his thighs. Imagine if he got a whole nation. It's like that's Africa. Remember when OJ was running on the beach in Roots? That's Saquon. <laughs> Wait, is, he, is Aaron Jones taken? Yeah, he's taken. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, Forty-five seconds. This GM sucks. Two hours later. <laughs> answer has got to be in this phone somewhere. <laughs> For the you gotta go around, bro. You gotta go around. <laughs> <laughs> right. no. For the fifth pick, the Wet Willies take DeAndre Swift.
appreciate it, Mel. Who would you have taken, Duvall? I'm not picking that number. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I was third. <laughs> With the fifth pick, the Blossoms take the prototype, Kyle Pitts. With the fifth pick in the TFL draft, Bernard's boss team selects Jerry Judy of Denver. Sixth pick in the TFL draft. I'm going to go with A.J. Dillon. The sixth pick in the TFL draft, I'm taking Darren Waller. All right, with the sixth pick for the Groovinators in the TFL draft, we select A.J. Brown, Philadelphia Eagles. Fuck Philly, but yeah, all right. On this, on this voyage, we need somebody to huck the ball or hand it off, right? This guy's too much of a drama queen even for me, but Kyler Murray. That's my QB. QB1. Had to take one. I mean, I don't know. Six picks in. It took me six picks until I was a little bit, I don't know. I'm not confident. For the sixth pick, the Wet Willies take T. Higgins. With the sixth pick, definitely leading the motherfucking blouses to the victory. Sir A.A. Ron. Oh. At the end of the sixth round is a little bit audacious. Yeah, that's 30 that he went to Steve. Pause. With the sixth pick in the TFL draft, Bernard's boss team is selecting somebody who definitely need a breakout here from Buffalo, Dawson Knox. R.I.P. your brother, bro. And yes, what can you do and home. bring to the table that nobody else has? Yes. Oh, how, how much money do you need? Tommy Lee's own shit. Like, how much money would be required for your girl to be For my girl? Yeah. Like, so we talking full, like, porn? Yeah. Like, are you. 25 her? minute jump. Are you the one that's fucking? 25 minute, no reshoots. I know it's no multiple takes. <laughs> right. It's just, just the one straight through. Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah. 40 grand. Mm hmm. I said, I'll be the fluffer for a mil, bro. Uh, <laughs> like, for a million dollars, it's like, 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 in the seventh round, with the seventh pick for the Groovinators, we select tight end Dalton Schultz, Dallas. You took my pick. You took my pick. Oh, I got another one. The only guy they throw to in Detroit. That's who I thought about. I know. But I he's know. very injury prone. Well, I also thought you were going to go Homer. And I thought you were going to take Fryer. He got to prove himself to me this year. But, uh, on. I, I missed the camera. <laughs> no. Uh, on the seventh pick, sticking with that tight end, I would have loved to take Dalton Schultz for the Cowboys, but we're going to go with TJ Hawkinson. Detroit Lions tight end. That phone was lying to you. Well, I don't know. For the seventh pick, the Wet Willies take Michael Pittman Jr. Hey Matt, is it okay if I have one of those cream pies? <laughs> hey, yo. Sure can. 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 S
<laughs> Thanks, pal. Wow. <laughs> at your local, at your local supermarket. With the seventh pick, the Blasters take Alvin Kamara, running back. With the seventh pick of the TFL draft, Bernard's boss team selects Terry McLaurin from Washington. In the eighth pick, I'm taking Los Angeles Chargers defense. Seal is broken. That man is on the clock. Eighth pick in the TFL draft, I'm taking Mike Williams. All right, with the eighth pick for the Groovinators in the TFL draft, we select DK Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks. See, equal clap. Just as good as Schultz. Again, we're talking about Seattle, but on the MacTastic voyage, we need to pick up who, uh... oh my God. The quarterback for Seattle that just got traded. What's his name? Why can't I think of it? Russell Wilson. Thank you. I just completely blanked. I'm having a stroke up here, apparently. But he's going to be throwing to Cortland Sutton a lot. That's my eighth pick. Listen, you know it's all about the D. So, you know, I'm going to have to take, for, for my uh, for my eighth pick, I'm going to take the Chicago Bears defense. Sponsor me, Cream Pies. The eighth pick, the blasters take Mike Evans, wide receiver, Tampa Bay. Was he? Oh shit! Skirt. <laughs> Cut that sizzle! Cut that sizzle! It's the first one to happen. No fault, no foul. Word. I'm gonna take um, Zeke then. Ezekiel Elliott he was running back. Ooh. Was he? That's a two. That's a two. <laughs> Yo. One more strike. Uh -oh. I know. James Conner. Okay. All right, he's in there. He's running in back. There. He's definitely left. He got a ground ball just past the second baseman, man. <laughs> With my eighth pick, Bernard's boss team selects quarterback from Dallas, Dak Prescott. What? It was either, it was either Deontay or Najee. Ninth pick, TFL, <laughs> Fantasy Football League draft. We're going to take a kicker from Baltimore, <laughs> Justin Tucker. With the ninth pick in the TFL League, I'm taking Tom Brady. Good pick. Got you. got to do it. With the ninth pick for the Groovinators in the TFL draft, we select Los Angeles Rams defense. I'm not a homer. I swear to God on this one. They they know, though. They fucking suck. Goddamn Mactastic Voyagers got to go with the Buffalo Bills defense. Woo! They have to. They absolutely have to. How many of them are not going to be under contract next year? You do it now or not? For the ninth pick at QB2, we're going to take Russell Wilson. The ninth pick, the Blouses take Cowboys defense. Uh, see, everybody's getting scared. It broke back. With the ninth pick of the 2022 draft, Bernard's boss team selects Cordero Patterson from the Atlanta Fac Falcons. Who's the quarterback?
All right, that concludes the 2022 TFL Turf and Turnbuckles Fantasy Draft. Thank everybody coming out. Good luck to everybody. Uh, I know. I look forward to going head to head with everybody and having a good time this year, taking that championship belt from everybody else. Uh, one pick that I'm definitely excited to see what happens this year for is definitely Lamar Jackson. I know it's weird. I'm a Steelers fan, but I think with all the talk of people still saying he isn't a quarterback, he's still a running back and all that shit, uh, it's contract year. So he's definitely going to ball out and prove he deserves max contract money anywhere he goes because Baltimore could drop the ball and not bring him back next season. That can happen too. Well, good luck to everybody for me. Uh, Groovinator is trying to come home for the chip. And I'm out. Mac, it's on you. No, I mean, I handled it exactly how I wanted to and how most I think everybody else did. Running backs dip after the top ten and you wanted to get one early and fast. I mean, I didn't do anything spectacular myself. I'm just hoping that the talent shines through. But like I said before, whether it was on camera or not, some of these quarterbacks fall in the way that they did. It's wild. And some of them going as early as they did is equally as wild. I'm ready for football already, though. Either way. All right. Turf and turnbuckle out.